Welcome to the MyDot Scouting mini training series. In this video, we will review the main login page and how and when you should start a new account or find an existing account. The MyDot Scouting website is where you will go to register either for the first time or if within the same council, transfer registration to another unit. And it is where you can find your current registration information for yourself and your youth family members. From here, you can launch the online training, update or correct your personal profile information, and it is the first place you need to go when correcting account issues. If you are a registered volunteer, you will need to visit this site to find your unit or commissioner tools. If you or your child have ever been in Scouts, chances are you have an account even if you didn't create it. When a paper application is submitted, an account is automatically created using the parent's email address. If you have one Scout and are registering another, make sure that under Previous Scouting Experience, you indicate parent of existing Scouts so that they connect all your children to the same parent account rather than creating duplicate parent accounts. When changing councils, you will be assigned a new BSA member ID for that council, but your login account should not be duplicated if the paper application is filled out correctly with the previous member ID, council number, and unit filled in. When possible, to ensure your account isn't duplicated, use the unit's registration link found on beascout.org, which will send you to log in using your my.scouting account to complete the registration. If overseas, use the local APO zip code to find units in the area, or click the hyperlink to contact your overseas council for a link to register with the unit online. Even if you think you don't have an account, before you create a new one, make sure to first test for an account you may not be aware of. Remember, your account is a direct link to your BSA registration. Even if you are a parent of a youth and not a volunteer yourself, you have registrations linked to your account. It is vitally important that you don't create a new account if you already have one. Creating another account will duplicate information and disconnect you from your registrations, your family members, your training, your official Scoutbook account, and any activity logs you may have entered. To check for an existing account, click on Forgot Username Password and follow the prompts to retrieve your username. Remember, if you are a parent, you will be entering your email and birth date, not your child's. If an account is found, you will get an email informing you of the username. To retrieve the password, come back here and enter the username to get another email enabling you to reset your password. If instead you get the pop-up telling you no accounts were found matching the information provided, it is still possible that you have an account. Try logging in using your Google or Apple account. If all fail to retrieve an account, you can now confidently create a new one. When you attempt to create a new account, you will be asked for your full legal first and last name and birth date. Make sure you enter these accurately so that if you are in BSA system, your information can be found. The zip code is for sorting results and does not prevent you from seeing your BSA accounts in other councils. If you are located outside the US but are using an APO zip code, make sure to select no here. Please do not force the creation of a new account by entering an incorrect name or birth date. You will only cause yourself problems that will require contacting your council staff for member care assistance. If no records match, you will be allowed to create a new account. If there are records that match, check if any or all of them are yours. Because you have a different BSA member ID for every council you have been registered in, you could have several accounts. Ideally, all of your accounts will also be listed in the Manage Member ID screen, which we will go over in Episode 5. For now, be advised it is worth writing down all of your member ID numbers and matching zip codes if they differ. Select the account you want to connect to and retrieve information to proceed. In Episode 5, you will learn how to connect the other accounts you have. If none of the options are you, or you try to create a duplicate account by clicking on none of the above, you will not be allowed to proceed and will be instructed to contact your local council for assistance. Thank you for all you do in scouting.